Welcome back to the channel. This week I'm going to be hooking up Sierra Electric. Sierra Electric is owned by a very good friend of mine, Sonny Alawalia, and he was the key to all of the awesome electric work that was done here in our studio. So to show my appreciation, I'm going to hook him up with the most thorough detail that I can possibly do. So let's get right into this thing and hook him up. The first order of magnitude here will be to empty out the cab, take this thing all the way empty, and then I'll pull out this floor mat, get this thing vacuumed out. I'm going to bust out the Bissell cleaner on these seats. And once the inside's all tuned up, I'll turn my attention to the outside of the van. What the heck? Man, that must be loud, like, right there. People always tell me to clean stuff that's dirty. You know, I clean, I clean what it is, man, whatever it is. duty mixed up at about 50 parts water just a splash in a full thing of water and that's gonna act as an upholstery cleaner soak this down I'm gonna hit it with my drill brush and then I'll go back over it with the Bissell cleaner to suck out the remaining soaps and get some of this grime out of here <laughs> Man. I'm gonna take the same mix of uh, about 50 to 1 heavy duty here and use it on everything first before I put any dressing on here. Uh, and I've got this awesome Detail Factory Tri-Grip brush. I'm gonna be throwing these on the website pretty soon along with the other options from Detail Factory. I'm real impressed with these things. And these make the difference. They make it so you can get at stuff. And uh, I love that. I love that I can now get into spots like the vents and the switches and the you know spots that, uh, man, you know, heck, it's just so awesome to use these because when you're done, you end up having a real professional looking result, even though I don't know what the heck I'm doing, man. I mean, I friggin' shampooed these seats before I started sitting in them. I'm, I'm an idiot. You know, even me, I can get good results by using the right tools. So I'm gonna work my way from the top down and then once I'm done with the inside, I'll, I'll hit the outside of everything and get the exterior tuned up. If you guys out there do detailing for a living and are watching my process here and thinking, oh my God, you know, I would do that this way or this way. I mean, definitely chime in about that because uh, I feel like you know, my best source for learning, I mean, I try and watch a bunch of different channels uh, on YouTube that I, you know, that I enjoy watching uh, that do detailing, and I try and learn from them, but, you know, ultimately, uh, the feedback from you guys out there about, you know, the, the process you're seeing here alerts me to things I can do better, so... Uh, I'm definitely interested in seeing what you guys think. If there's any types of equipment, you know, like as I'm doing this stuff here, I'm wondering about the steamer stuff, you know, is that useful? Is that kind of a fun thing to have uh, that would help me get a better result here? And if so, I mean, heck, chime in, let me know. Because uh, I just think that this stuff is fun. It's kind of like therapy for me, honestly. And I think that, uh, you know, the only way I'm going to get better is through listening to uh, you know your guys input out there and what uh, what you think would would be beneficial or make a better result for these videos
gonna hit up the inside of the glass cleaner real quick, and then we'll get on to the outside of this thing. Took a little effort to get the inside of this thing tuned up, I gotta say. It's been a process. Man. Can't wait to see what this fella thinks. I think he's gonna be psyched. I think he was under the impression that I was only going to wash the outside and like not even physically touch it, not even on the outside. He should be pleasantly surprised. And I'm sure at least he can't complain about the price. Doesn't look like I'm doing much when the outside's still dirty. Almost, it's almost hard to tell if you're getting it clean while the outside's so dirty. But I like to clean the inside of a vehicle first, I think, because it seems to make a mess, and then the outside can be like the, the last, you know, icing on the cake, you know what I mean? Here I've got my heavy duty 50-50 uh, strength. This is looking more civilized. Dang. Wow. <laughs> so much better. All right, well that's just heavy duty at about 50 to one. Wiped around and wiped off. Good all-purpose cleaner though. Got the door jams real nice. Always hit your door jams. That's what you want. Got the vents real good. All the switches are looking tuned. Bam, let's clean the outside of this thing. All right, so I'll be using my touchless two-step washes, stars and stripes, to get the outside looking good. Uh, I'm filling these up from my expansion pack kit. This is just what, basically a way to pre-dilute the soap so you don't have to measure it out, which is kind of nice. I don't like measuring the foam cans every time I fill them up, because you have to fill them up all the time, especially when you're washing down like, you know, it's not bad when you're doing a, like a sprinter van, but if you're washing down a big rig and you're you know, you're refilling multiple times to get a wash done. I don't know. I think it's nice to be able to just top them off and, you know, know that they're mixed exactly the way, the way you like them. So this is uh, basically four parts water goes into the five gallon pail, and then you top it off with a, a full gallon of the concentrated version. So it's four to one is the ratio I like to roll with here. You can cut it different ways, but um, I find that that's a good starting point. You can mix it stronger, you can mix it weaker. It depends on what you're up against but um, that's how I like to do it. And it works out pretty good because then you get a fully topped off five gallon pail and it essentially makes the five gallon pail cost about 40 bucks. So it's not a bad value. And that's the right strength to run through a, a power washer injector as well if you're just gonna run it straight through a downstream injector, let's say, or whatever type of uh, power washer injector you use. It's just a good starting point. Well, yeah. There we go. And I'm gonna use this. This is the Mezzo valve by MTM Hydro, same people that make these foam cannons. So it's just a nice way to hold both of the foam cannons at the same time. And then you just switch between the two steps with these buttons. Press the blue one for your step one, press the red one for your step two. And then I'm using a Q coupling on the inside of this for the, uh, the adapter into my gun outlet. So super nice quick disconnect. Let's get this thing cleaned up. All right, so this will be a nice shortcut because uh, I spent a lot of time on the inside of that cab, and I, uh, I love the thought of spending less time on the outside of this thing. So I'm running out of time, man. So it's gonna come pick this thing up. Let's get it done.
Let's see what we got. So touchless washes get you a lot of the way there, but not all of the way there. Certain spots like right here, you can see there's still that black line right there. A little bit of a runoff from trim and stuff like that. And that stuff is kind of stingy. This thing actually went all winter without getting a wash. So it's kind of hard to see, but the ladder rack is rusting up there. So it's got some rust drip down lines coming down right here. So the touchless stuff didn't hit that. So I'm gonna hit this with a 50-50 mix of the heavy duty out of my pump sprayer here. And I think that that'll do it. It'll take a little agitation too with a brush, but let's see what happens here. I'm just kind of curious to see if this will help. Hopefully you can see it there, but it's kind of just this like tinge of stain running down the whole side here. Nice, yeah, I think that's helping. Very nice, I definitely got it. Well, heavy duty was a good solution for this whole thing, man. All right, let me get on to the final touches here. I'm gonna hit the emblems with the detailing brush a little bit just to get right in there and get them nice and perfect. We'll rinse this thing off, get some tire and trim on there, and then this thing will be mint. Oh, man. <clears throat> I love these things. <laughs> well, it just gets right in there and takes it all the way. All right, let's dry this thing off and see what we got. So this thing cleaned up real nice. I, uh, I was gonna hit it with the detailer spray, but honestly, I mean, I don't know. I'm running out of time. I need to get this thing wrapped up and it looks really good. So I uh, just as soon would, you know, have spent the time on the inside as I did. Anyways, so this is what's left. I just wanna hit these up. So you can see the difference and the lack of color in these uh, certain pieces of trim. I noticed that these pieces are all pretty good, but man, those do not match. Those things look like they need to be juiced up. The tires came out real nice. So you can see uh, those are pretty clean, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna juice those up as well while I've got the tire and trim out. The front bumper especially is looking like it could use a little bit of juice. I'll just coat that down with some tire and trim and then this thing will be mint. It is a little addictive. Uh, I wasn't planning on doing that whole strip, but I got a little on, a little bit of uh, accidental over application and um, honestly it looks so much better after <laughs> I just uh, decided I'm gonna you know gonna keep going can't think of any better way to spend a Sunday night this is pretty enjoyable <laughs> man it's hard to stop <laughs> No, no, I just used the um, heavy duty on it. Oh my goodness. Got all the rust out of there. This is just by spraying it? I hit it with the touchless stuff and then I went over it again with the heavy duty just to get the tiger stripes out or whatever those are called. You know those like streaks yeah. that were running down? Yeah, it's coming off the... Uh, yeah, I got the rust out of there. The touchless stuff didn't get it there 100% where I wanted, so I went back over it with some heavy duty. Wow, that's crazy, bro. I was so embarrassed driving this truck, you have no idea. <laughs> Looking at it now, it's like amazing. Yeah, this thing is looking pretty good, man. Holy moly. <laughs> oh, you did the seats too? Yeah. 
Dude, you know how much junk was on this thing? Oh, I know. I filmed it going down the drain. Yeah, thanks to Jay. <laughs> yeah. He, he, I thought the cloth was messed up. It was just dirty. No, no it was dirty. I, the, this truck was like close to this when I got this. Yeah. And when Jay eats, <laughs> he, he just sits right on top of the dirt. Oh, my goodness. Man. This, is a, this is crazy. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to wash my floor down now. Thanks for watching. Give me a like and a comment and maybe even a subscribe. Appreciate that.